All right, hello, welcome to part three of how to play XCOM UFO Defense. This is actually isn't how to play, it's how to get it all good and running on modern systems. If you don't know what the fuck this game is, go watch the first two videos so then you can get annoyed by all the stupid UI stuff and say, I wish there was a way to fix this. Well, there is. So, step one, get XCOM UFO Defense. GOG.com sells it, Steam sells it, I think GOG sells it, I don't know. People, people sell it on the internet. Um, it's fine wherever you buy it, I'm pretty sure. I have it on Steam, that's very helpful. Install it uh, on Steam or whatever. Okay, once it's installed, go ahead and run it a couple times, play it, have some fun. Um, you'll probably want to learn the game a bit before bothering with any of this new sister, new whatever, newfangled loader stuff, just so you get an idea of what the game is like before you apply these fixes. But eventually you'll get annoyed, you're gonna say, man, this is tedious, all this management stuff. I wish there were an easier way to do it. Well, there is. We're going to install two programs for you, and they're going to make XCOM a lot better. Program one is called UFO Extender. It's also confusingly called UFO Loader. UFO Extender works through UFO Loader. I don't know. What the fuck? Uh, the second program is called XCOM Util, and these two together work to make XCOM from the best game into the best best game. So, step one, we're going to get these. Um, XCOM Util, I think you can find just by googling XCOM Util. I should not have... Um, yes, it's like the... thankfully it's the third link, which is of course very intuitive. Uh, so you click on the third link. Um, I'm gonna link to all the shit in the video description, so don't worry about it, okay? No more Google. I'm not gonna Google anything. Here's XCOM Util. We're gonna go download it, alright? Download. Pretty simple. Uh, you can grab... I don't know what the EXE version is, I just grabbed the zip version, this little download arrow. Hopefully you're not an idiot, save it somewhere, blah blah blah, XCOM util 9.7.zip, maybe it'll be 9.8 by the time you do this, who knows, maybe they'll make it to 10 point, whatever. Okay, so once we've downloaded that, we also want UFO loader slash UFO extender. Um, once again, I will link to probably this page in the description. Um, you want to download it, um, where's the download link? Oh, here we go, download the appropriate version and or patches. So they, they hide this really well, because they want to keep it from stupid people. And, uh, in fact, if you're an idiot, get ready, this is going to blow your mind. So, up here is the download link, but no, that's the latest version, and the latest version turns out to be a patch, and this is just extremely irritating. You want to grab, basically, this one. Um, you want something that has a lot of kilobytes, more than 57, you're going to, like, 116 kilobytes or something. Um, at the time of recording it, you want the 23rd September version. Maybe you'll want a later version by the time you're watching this video. I know it's fucking confusing, but just stick with me. So grab the 116 kilobyte version or whatever. Maybe it's 152 kilobytes, who knows? Grab that, and then grab the latest patch. Um, unless the latest patch is 100 whatever kilobytes, because then they'll have updated it by then, whatever. You'll just download this motherfucker right here. It's got a bunch of numbers in front. And you'll also download the latest patch, like this motherfucker right here. It's just called UFO Loader, or down here. It's called UFO Loader. So, we've got three things, right? XCOM Util, UFO Loader, and larger file size UFO Loader. Step one, we're going to install UFO Loader, also known as UFO Extender. So you go to your XCOM folder. If you've downloaded it from Steam, you go to your XCOM UFO Defense, and it's hidden in the XCOM folder. There's a DOS box wrapper, which we don't have to worry about. It's in the XCOM folder. If you have it from anywhere else online, maybe it just comes with its own XCOM folder. I don't know. Whatever. Here's your game. Um, pretty simple. All the files. So, step one, UFO Loader. Um, you want the big version, which has all the goodies, and you just drag these into your um, base, into your XCOM folder. And then, remember, we also downloaded the latest patch. It's just called Patcher DLL, so stick this in here and overwrite. So, now that's UFO Loader. It's ready, but... Um, it's actually installed. So the way UFO, to, UFO Loader works is that if you double click this thing, it'll start up XCOM. And that'll start up the UFO Loader, UFO Extender, and that's going to change some stuff. What's it going to change? Well, here's a readme, and this explains everything that it changes. Please don't freak out. Uh, we'll go through this together sometime. And here's the any file, and you can modify this any file to actually make those changes. So for example, if we go in this readme, we see these video things, and it's like, look, D3D, use Direct3D9 instead of Direct Raw, blah blah blah. So I'm like, hmm, that sounds like good. And I go over here, into the any file, and I would change D3D to 1. So there are all these options, and we can deal with these later. But right now it's installed. Good! You're done with UFO Extender slash UFO Loader. And if you want, you can stop here. Uh, you just made XCOM better. 
and in fact you can fiddle with these and it'll get even better but we're gonna go one step further you thought I was done no I'm like a shitty infomercial we're installing XCOM util so you open up your XCOM util and you drag these folders again to your XCOM folder and you get two things you get an XCOM util folder and you get XCOM util setup.bat um, now if you're running this through Steam what you can do if you want is go into your XCOM util folder double click this Steam setup bat and it'll do basically what we're about to do except you'll be able to later launch XCOM through Steam so that's helpful I don't care about launching XCOM through Steam though I can just launch it the normal way by going into this folder uh, later so I'm gonna run XCOM util setup.bat and this is what you'll do if you bought XCOM somewhere else um, oh shit it looks like DOS what's going on I don't understand no this is fine so um, you can read this at your own leisure uh, you don't have to I'm just gonna press any key to continue uh, it says you don't have any backups. That's fine. This is the first time I'm running it. Press another key. So it's going to back up all your stuff. This is a good program. It gives you warm, fuzzy feelings inside because it's not going to break XCOM. It's going to back up everything first. And even if it did break XCOM, this is like a 40 megabyte game or whatever. So you can just download it again. Whatever. So you'll hit another button to continue. So now it's going to say, do you want to fix this graphic stuff? Um, I usually hit n yes because you can... Oh, well, I hit no because I've never needed it. If your graphics are fucked up, run XCOM util setup.bat again and hit yes. And if you hit yes and you decide later you don't want to do it, you can just run it again and then hit yes and then hit no. You can, you can read this shit on your own time. I'm just going to hit no. What we're looking for is this. Seb76 UFO extender detected. If you see that, fantastic. It defect detected the UFO loader slash extender. If you don't see this, you fuck something up fantastic job moron these pretty simple instructions but go back start from the beginning delete everything whatever I don't care what you do nuke it from orbit it's the only way to be sure um, whatever so if it detects it and you say do you want to enable the use of UFO extender presumably you say yes so that's fantastic um, and now it's going to give you a lot of options um, where, let's go to our UFO XCOM util folder and find the readme and nope this doesn't explain shit does this explain anything um fuck yes this explains it and in fact uh the website i believe um explains it no nope, not really um this thing explains it so <laughs> Technically, you're going to want to read through this um, before you do this t uh, process, or what you can do, you can do what I do, which is you just read these little short descriptions and just decide there. So this version of XCOM you're running, uh, that should be UR with an E at the end, but whoever wrote this was clearly a computer scientist, not an English major. Difficulty bug fix. Uh, so XCOM is bugged. Every game you play will be on beginner difficulty, no matter what you do unless you fix this bug. So we're going to hit yes and just think for a moment about all those people back in 1994 when the game came out. They were all playing on beginner because the game was bugged and it was still fucking hard. And they didn't even know because they, they were choosing like expert and being like, oh man, it's so hard. But it was all reverting to beginner. They didn't even know that. So that's hilarious. Um, so it brings us to this next screen. It can apply various fixes to bugs in UFO, blah, blah, blah. Do you want yes to all? Do you want none? Do you want to prompt me for all the fixes? I just hit yes to all. Yeah, let's fix some stuff. Um, do you want to use original sound effects on the Geoscape? Uh, I don't know. Let's hit no. Do you want to use original sounds on the tactical thing? Uh, I don't know. Let's hit no. You can hit yes if you want. I don't give a shit. Um, do you want to change the interceptor and the firestorm? That's a later vehicle you get to carry soldiers. Um, that sounds like bullshit to me, so I'm just going to hit no. Um, often what you can do is you can just, like, because you can run this again anytime you want and change any of these options. So if you want, you can just, like, hit yes to all the bug fixes and no to all the changes. Do you want to add a gun to the Sky Ranger? No. It's like the landing craft on D-Day. They didn't have guns, except some of them did, but ours don't. Um, here's a good one. Defensive starting base layout. I usually hit yes for this. Um, your original starting base is a pretty retarded layout for reasons that will become apparent to you later. Um, if you hit yes, it changes it to a better layout, and that's what you've seen in my gameplay videos so far. Uh, do you want an improved starting base? It gets you a large radar, alien containment already built, living quarters increased, number of scientists from 10 to 10 to 1550. Um, yeah, why not? Let's get a better starting base. That'll make us... Do you want to fix the disjointed base bug? Yeah, why not? Um, do you want to improve the HWP? Nah, that's too good. Do you want to improve the pistol? Nah. Do you want to improve the heavy laser? Sure. Do you want to improve the high explosive? No. Do you want to alternate laser tech no do you want help from captured aliens no do you want messages after combat these are pretty cool I would turn these on yes do you want soldier news name stats screens 
strings. Like I said, I can't remember what the fuck these are, but um, eventually I'll read through this thing, and it explains them somewhere. Let's just find stat string. Well, that didn't do it. String. String. Stat string. Here we go. Look, armor, bravery, time units. Yeah, so that's cool. I'll learn about that, and for now I'll keep it turned on. Um, soldier name, rank. Yes, let's put the rank in their name. Kill number after their name. Nah, I don't need that. Pre-combat sort. This option sorts your troops on board the ship at the beginning of combat. Does not change the order of your troops automatically. Blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Re-equip soldiers before combat. That's a good one. That saves you a lot of fucking time, so hit yes. Remove psionics. No. Psionic screening. No. Daylight combat only. No, that's cheating. Night only. No, that's fucking ridiculous. Um, this randomizes terrain. This is a long fucking thing. You can read this. I'm just going to hit no to save us some time. Do you want to randomize the aliens? Nah. Um, and now it does it. Okay, finally it patched all this stuff. Press any key to continue. Boom. We're done. Now. Okay, once you've gone through all that, uh, back into our XCOM folder, now you have... Um, if you did the Steam thing originally, you went into XCOM Util and you ran Steam Setup. Now you can just run it from Steam. You're good. Otherwise, um, you're going to run it from run xcom.bat. This will start XCOM, and you're good to go. So, uh, now you're all patched up. Hopefully you double-click run XCOM and your game starts, and you're set. There's a lot of nice little things that are fixed, but what you really want to do is go into the UFO extender any and tweak these things. So these video things up here at top, I can't really help you with these because these are going to depend on how you want to play. Like for example, if you want to play it windowed, you'll probably want this on. D3D I find is typically helpful. If you don't get any bugs, then you'll want to turn that on. Um, it just renders it with Direct3D, which is more sort of advanced. And if you want windowed, of course, windowed, uh, you'll want to turn on clip cursor if it's set to windowed, because that'll then it'll sort of keep, when you scroll left or right, it'll keep your mouse inside the window. If it's full screen, aka if this is zero, then you don't need to do that. Um, skip intro, I don't know, whatever you want. Um, HQ4X makes everything look sort of weird, but you can turn it on if you want. And then for the rest of these things, you can read this readme. Um, and it's basically good stuff. So some interesting things include double-click movement. This is very good to do. In the original game, of course, you click somewhere and your soldiers will be like, hoop de doop de doop walking right over there, and if you misclicked, they'll just get shot, right? Or they'll walk somewhere you don't want. So double-click movement, very, very helpful. Um, you'll never misclick again. Terror from the deep doors. That's very, very helpful. It lets you open up doors by sort of right-clicking on them when you're next to them. Where is this stuff? Um, I should probably... Where is... These are wrong, wrong read me. Um, options. Where are we? Where do you, do you say options? Mod. La di da di da caps. I should just search double. What do you mean you can't find double click movement? Oh, let's, let's search up. Fuck you. It's in here somewhere. We'll find you. You can't go away. Alien inventory is dumb fast, no alien assign. Well, you can find it in your own any and enable it on your own time. Let's go back to these things. Uh, Terror from the deep doors, I would turn this off definite or turn it on definitely. It lets you open doors by right clicking when you're there instead of having to walk through it. Um, reorder soldiers and craft, that's helpful if you didn't do the automatic one in XCOM Util. Um, save reserve mode, this is helpful. That remember that reserve time units button that keeps resetting itself after the end of each turn. This fixes that. Um, and lots of other things. So these are all good to read. A lot of these you'll want to turn on. Oh, oh, a bunch of this stuff, this strategic stuff. You also want to turn this stuff on. Auto sell. This is good. You can, instead of manufacturing like 10 laser guns, you can set it to manufacture auto sell laser guns. And then it'll just, like, Every time it makes one of whatever, it'll sell it immediately. So that's a good way to make money. Um, instead of the tedious micromanagement you used to have to do before, which is build a bunch, then sell a bunch manually, then build some more, then sell them manually. Um, that's no good. Um, assign all personnel. This is very helpful. If you have 50 scientists and you want to research something, instead of clicking the up button to get to 50, you just click down, and it'll immediately assign everybody. Um, general store capacity. That's helpful for less building general stores. Kind of cheating. Rank and inventory, that's kind of helpful. Show money, that's kind of helpful. 
um, base building stacking. Oh, this is nice. When you're building a base, usually you have to wait. And, well, you can figure it out yourself. Fast base defense. So, uh, turn on a bunch of the shit. Um, choose what you want when you run the XCOM util. And if you ever want to change your XCOM util thing, just run XCU setup again. If you ever want to change your UFO extender settings, just edit your UFO extender.ini file, and you should be good to go. So that is XCOM on a modern system. If you have any problems, I'm probably not going to be able to... Well, I could... At, I, a bunch of fuckers are going to post YouTube comments anyways if they have problems, so no matter what I say, that's going to happen. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, if you want a part four where I talk about sort of more advanced tactics and stuff, let me know. Otherwise, uh, go get yourself killed by aliens.